and if you are watching this video, it's not such a good thing. Either I'm dead or I'm in a very, very, very bad situation. Sheikha Latifa Al Maktoum hasn't been seen in public since she recorded this video more than a year ago. Days before, the Emirati princess and her best friend, Tina Yohanian, attempted a daring escape from Dubai. When she asked me to, to help her, I didn't hesitate. Latifa's story, Yohanian says, is a twisted fairy tale. A princess kidnapped by her own father, Sheikh Mohammed Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai. The princess yearned to study medicine and to travel, but her father banned her from leaving the country. Her every move watched. Latifa and Tina have been friends since 2010 when Latifa asked the Finnish martial arts instructor for lessons. It was daily that I would see her being unhappy. She would avoid going home. So they spent months planning an escape. First, a road trip to neighboring Oman, then a U.S. flagged yacht. The plan? Sail to India, fly to America, and claim asylum. But after a week, the yacht was intercepted. We started hearing these noises from the upper deck sounded like gunshots and Latifa's first comment was like they, they found me you know my father has sent some people after me Indian commandos and Emirati agents arrested everyone on board Tina said they told me that um, they were going to shoot my brain out after two weeks of interrogation in the Emirates Tina was deported she fears the worst for her friend confinement and torture Emirati officials didn't respond to requests for comment, but they've told other media outlets Latifa's case is a family affair and that she's not detained. Since the failed escape, Latifa has only been seen in a few photos released by her family. Yohanian said she looks unwell. I just hope they don't break her spirit. Yohanian and her lawyer plan to bring Latifa's kidnapping to American courts. That's where the yacht was registered and pressure Latifa's father in the media. He cares about his reputation. So if this doesn't go away, I'm hoping that he will actually uh, let her go. But the Sheikh has already shown that his power reaches beyond borders. Matt Bradley, NBC News, Cornwall, England. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.